Hey everybody in YouTube land, how you doing today? Um, <clears throat> this is actually kind of a, uh, a quick video that uh, I wasn't really planning on doing because I'm a little bit in a hurry to get this, uh, to get this mod uh, done. It's really not even a mod, it's just a little bit of a paint job. But um, someone asked me if I was going to do a video of it, so I figured I might as well go ahead and try, even though I have to get it done by uh, tomorrow's cars and coffee. So I'm going to kind of show you. I already got started on it, and then that's whenever somebody asked if I would uh, do a video. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and show you what I'm doing and uh, kind of continue uh, where I left off as far as the, the beginning part, which wasn't, uh, which wasn't too much. So uh, just real quick, I'm going to let you know what I'm doing here, and uh, I'll show you how far I got so far. Okay, I recently added a cold air intake to um, to my engine, and uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Well, looks like it's kind of a, here we go. It's kind of making a weird color with my uh, with my phone here, but anyway, you can see that uh, that's a certain color red. It's a little bit darker in real life than it is on the video here, but uh, that red wasn't matching, and I don't have it on right now because I'm working on it. <clears throat> but it wasn't matching the red that I had on the um, the uh, the engine cover. Plus, when I, the engine cover was completely red, so when you had that red with the red pipes, it was just like it was just too much red. It was going kind of going overboard. So, uh, what I ended up doing is I pulled the engine cover and I'm repainting it a little bit darker red to match the um, the cold air intake, and then I'm also going to put some black uh, some black on it too to kind of break up so much red being on there. So uh, let me go ahead and show you what I've done so far in my uh, state of the art. My state-of-the-art uh, booth here. Um, so here's what I have so far. And what I did is I actually um, the little logo, the Ecotech logo, is kind of right here. I took some masking tape, put it over there, took an X-Acto knife, cut around there to just kind of mask that off. And the original red is here, which is more of a it's, it's red, but it's a little bit tint of it of an orange, so it wasn't really matching. Um, and I'm hoping this is going to match a little bit better, but. What I did is I kind of um, sprayed the outside main area red again and um, as you can see I really didn't touch there. You can just tell there's not too much gloss there but uh, the reason being is this main section here is going to be black and I'm going to leave these little indentations. I'm going to start and just leave them red see how they look that way. Um, if it doesn't look right I might go ahead and paint them silver but I can do that afterwards uh, actually with a brush that would be a little bit easier but uh, right now I just kind of like spray painted this. Um, it was originally red. Sprayed it a little bit darker red. I know it's hard to tell on the video here. Uh, the kind of paint I'm using is this uh, this Duplicolor caliper paint. And uh, what it is it's a basically a high temperature paint. They had they had some actual engine uh, paints at uh, at the auto parts store. But the problem is the match the, the reds weren't really matching. So this red actually matched a lot better uh, to the uh, cold air intake than the other ones did. So because it's a caliper paint, it's also a high temperature. Not not that high temperature is that that important. I mean the engine does get kind of hot, but it's not like being on the actual engine block or on actual calipers. But I still wanted a nice uh, high temperature engine paint on here anyway, just so that it doesn't uh, peel off and crack and do any kind of other crazy stuff. Because once you do this, you know, one or two times, it gets kind of old. You don't want to keep doing it over and over. So, uh, this is actually drying now. So I'm gonna let it dry for a little while because next thing I gotta do is I have to mask off the stuff that's gonna stay red, and then I have some of the exact same paint but in black. And I'm gonna go ahead and spray that, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be done because cars and coffee is tomorrow morning, and uh, I don't have a whole lot of time. In fact. Uh, my son wants to go see a movie tonight, so we're going to see that too. So I'm probably not going to get back until late tonight, but uh, I'm going to get this thing finished off, uh, finished and be done with it, and um, it'll be good for cars and coffee tomorrow. So uh, what I'm going to do, start masking this off, and um, I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, I am back from the movies, and the engine cover is nice and dry now, so I can start masking it off. Uh, actually, by the way, I um, went to see the movie Dunkirk. In IMAX, actually, it was a it was a pretty good movie. Unfortunately, it was kind of tough to hear the dialogue. I don't know if it's because it was in the IMAX theater, or, or if it was just the audio, or I don't know what was going on. But uh, but yeah, it was a pretty good movie. So anyway, I'm back, like I said, and this is nice and dry. And what I'm going to do is this section here 
is going to be painted black except for these little lines here and then the rest of it on the outside is going to be uh, red so what I did is I actually went and I picked up earlier some pinstripe just a single pinstripe and what I, what I plan on doing and hopefully this works is I'm actually going to use the pinstripe to get me around these areas here um, to start masking them off really nice to get a nice clean edge and then once that stripe is there then I can go ahead and uh, mask off the rest of it with paper and uh, a little bit bigger tape so but pinstripe I'm hoping that I can go around these these uh, these curves and stuff a lot easier than uh, than without it so uh, that being said I'm going to go ahead and get started and um, hopefully it works out So here it is. I have it all masked off except for the uh, the sections that I'm gonna paint black, which is this whole thing here. And uh, everything's all masked off with tape and paper in the back there. So uh, what I can do, uh, I'm gonna paint this. Oh, you know what? Actually, I still gotta do these sections here. So I'm gonna do these, uh, mask those off because I want those to stay red. But um, the nice thing about this, what I can do is you know, once I uh, once I paint it, any kind of little um, mistakes or whatever I can just touch that up with a brush but I'm not gonna worry about that for uh, for tomorrow so uh, anyway there we go uh, fix these ones and we'll start painting okay again I'm using the uh, ceramic uh, I'm sorry the caliper paint with um, with this it is the uh, the high temperature paint as well as what I have on the red And the way you do this, you basically just do nice even coats going across. Let's see if I can do this. I'm holding my camera here. It's easy. Do a couple. We're gonna do a bunch of coats, so you don't have to push it all on in one shot. Just do a little bit and let it dry. That way you don't get any kind of runs or anything like that going on. Alright, so I'm going to leave it like that. Get one more shot here. I'll leave it like that, let it dry, and I'm going to go put uh, a couple more coats on. Okay, just put a uh, a second coat on it. This one a little bit a uh, little bit slower with the uh, with spraying it across, get a little bit more of a wet coat, but not so wet that it's gonna uh, that it's gonna run or anything like that. Still gonna get a little bit of the sides here as well. Also gonna get inside these little areas here. Okay, 
I think it's looking pretty good. I will probably do probably do one more coat and then it'll be done. Three hours later. Okay, it is the next morning. It is about uh, 20 after 5 in the morning. Uh. So uh, this is dried overnight, so I'm going to go ahead and start taking off the... Um, yeah, it's nice and dry. I'm going to start taking off the uh, the masked taped areas, and um, hopefully it looks good. We're going to find out in a few minutes here. Okay, so I'm basically trying to take this, uh, the tape off similar to how I put it down in the order that I put it down, but it's kind of tough with one hand here, so I might have to let's see. I might have to do it without holding the camera. But just to kind of show you. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put the camera down and take the rest of the tape off. Alright, so here it is. Actually, uh, I think it looks pretty good. It was masked off pretty well. Uh, a couple areas I'm going to have to touch up in here. The big, big problem that I see, and it was, uh, I think, more of a timing thing, is, I don't know if you can see on the camera, you can see the blue tape actually took some of the, the gloss, you can see the line there, the gloss off of the... Uh, off of the red paint so I'm sure it was because I didn't have the paint dry enough uh, before I started uh, masking it off so uh, what I might end up doing is just kind of letting this dry for a few days and then mask off the black part and then repaint the the red but I kind of like the color scheme and I'm gonna uh, see how it looks on the engine and I'll take a picture of that All right, so um, I came back from Cars and Coffee, and uh, everyone really liked the uh, the new engine cover. But uh, where I had that blue tape, as you saw, whenever I pulled it off, um, it kind of got rid of some of the gloss on the uh, on the on the paint. So it's kind of that's kind of bothering me. So I actually went and I covered up the uh, the black part, and I just kind of did a respray of the uh, of the red again. Nothing uh, super detailed. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, just to get that shine back. So I'm going to go ahead. And I'm going to remove the uh, my mask here. It should actually look pretty good. Take these off because it was just basically just did a cutout of the paper or of this area with with some paper. So um, actually, it looks nice and shiny now. Looks pretty good, as you can see. Uh, I was thinking about putting some clear coat on there, but I don't really think I have to. So I think the only thing I'm going to do now is maybe touch up a couple little spots. Um, for instance, like right. I don't know if that'll focus or not, but there, like kind of like in there. This in some of the red. You can see like a little black part there. So I've got a uh, and actually kind of working around these a little bit better. But I got a uh, a paintbrush, <clears throat> and um, what I'm going to do is just spray some of the uh, the spray paint into. Uh, into like a uh, a little plastic bowl or something like that, and then just paint it with the with the brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and give that a try, and get this project wrapped up. Okay, I thought I had a styrofoam bowl, but I just have this paper plate, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that and just spray some paint on here that I can use with the brush. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take this in the room and start doing some painting. Okay, so I got my little brush here. Like I said, I just mainly want to get these uh, these little areas here that right on the edge. Oop. It's hard to do this with the camera and 
for real at the same time. So I'm just going to touch these little pieces up. And uh, pretty much be done. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to show you real quick what I was going to do. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that and then show you how it's uh, finished. Alright, so actually I decided to do a quick uh, clear coat um, layer on there. And uh, I was used the high gloss, it's actually it's the high temperature as well, uh, gloss clear from Duplicolor. And it actually gave a kind of a nice even, um, even texture to it, which is kind of good. It's not as clear as like, I don't know if I just do it wrong or, or what, but it's not as clear as a, like clear coat on your car um, paint. But as you can see, it looks pretty good. It's all even, got rid of those tape, uh, the tape marks and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to uh, put it on the uh, on the engine and show you how it looks. Alright, here it is installed. I think it looks uh, pretty amazing actually. And it's uh, nice and uniform, nice color. Wish I had a little more shine to it. Like I said, I put that clear coat on it. And uh, I don't know if it's just the way I do it or if it's uh, supposed to be done a different way with that can, but if you guys have any suggestions on how to clear coat to make it nice and super shiny and glossy, kind of like how the uh, cold air intake is, you know, go ahead and post the comments below and maybe I'll give it another shot. But as of now, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks pretty cool. I like the design. And it definitely breaks up all that red that, uh, that it originally had. So um, uh, it is the high temperature paint. I'm going to keep an eye on it, obviously, make sure it doesn't uh, crack or peel or do anything crazy like that. I think pretty confident that it won't. Plus, with the clear coat on top, I'm hoping that that protects it as well. So uh, anyway, uh, another mod for the most part is complete. And if you guys uh, like this one and want to see uh, future ones, go ahead and subscribe, hit like, post your comments, questions, uh, suggestions, or whatever else. Like I said, I am uh, by no means an expert in any of this stuff. I'm kind of learning as I go. So hopefully, uh, as I do things, it'll show you how to do it as well. As long as they're done, you know, and they work. So anyway, that's it for now.